congratulations on finishing part one. Now we're gonna start with part two. And in part two, this is where you're actually gonna need a computer or a desktop or whatever you're gonna need. Just, you're gonna need a computer and you're also gonna need software for editing your video. So what I'm gonna be personally using is Filmora 10, but I really like this program. It's very easy to use and it's also, I just got really used to it and there's a lot of features in this program to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to first organize your clips because editing is probably the longest process of everything that you're going to be doing. So the first thing you're going to want to do, so you got your SD card with all your clips and you put them into your computer and obviously you got all those files numbered and whatever. So the first thing you want to do is first you want to make a file that is labeled what your project is going to be and this is where you're going to save all your clips and all your footage so since this is going to be my Halloween edit from last year I'm gonna name it Halloween edit number two what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go into my SD card and organize all my clips so I'm gonna watch each one and each one that doesn't have a trick in it that I landed, I'm going to delete it because later on I won't have the headache of going back and forth to remember which number it is. I will just have every trick already known. And the reason why in my last part, part one, I told you guys to stop recording when you land the trick is because now you just have to go to the last 30 seconds or 20 seconds of the clip and you look for whether or not you landed it. So this one, see I bailed, one more, yeah, so and this one I didn't land it, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete that one, 0012, so now I'm going to 0013, and same process, just look at the last 20 seconds, I'm moving the camera, okay, so I landed Ollie, but I don't want to use the Ollie, so I'm going to delete that clip too. So this is my process. I just keep doing this until. So I'm just going to skip through. You guys do your own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Okay, so this one clip, 016, that's where I actually landed the back 180 up the Euro gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 0016 and drag it into my Halloween 2 folder. Just let it copy itself. And then you can move on to the next part. And what you guys got to remember is editing is probably the longest part of this process. So if you guys feel like you can't do this at a certain point, so let's say it's been two, three hours and you're getting that mindset of being lazy, just stop working on it for that one day and just continue it on the next day or just try to take a little break in between. Because if you have that lazy mindset, it's going to start messing you up. And it's not gonna come out as good as you want it when you first started. Now that I finished organizing my clips for my SD card into my file on my desktop, labeled Halloween 2, now I know where all my clips are and all the clips that I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open up Film Aura 016, the first clip, put it in, and now you wanna put it into your timeline. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna trim the first minute or whatever long your clip is you wanna trim the first so you wanna leave about 30 seconds before you actually start the trick so what you wanna do is delete the first three minutes and just keep the last 30 seconds of your clip just like that so you're so you so the reason why I'm leaving also another 30 seconds before I actually do the trick and 30 seconds after I do the trick is because, well not 30 seconds, but like 5 seconds. The reason why I'm leaving 5 seconds before and 5 seconds after I land the trick is because you don't know what song you're going to be using yet. So when you are recording, <clears throat> so when you are editing, you want to leave that 5 seconds so you could adjust whether or not you need more time or less time at the beginning of the land or at the end of the land. So, the only three controls you're actually going to need to know, uh, this is mostly in Filmora. I recommend getting Filmora, but you get the lifetime subscription. 
so that way you don't have to pay every month. But the only three keys that you're really going to need in this process is control B, control C, and control Z. So control B is to split the clip. So let's say I'll need to stop the first 10 seconds or I, I don't need the first 10 seconds. I press control B, it splits the clip. So now, it, now that these two clips are now separated, now I could delete the first five seconds and that's it. And now you don't, and it makes it much more easier to know, but be careful if you're using music because if you're using music, then it could split the whole clip with the song. So control C is to copy the clip. So you press control C, you go over here with your uh, marker or your utility stripe. I don't know what it's called. You, and you press control V to paste it and you just made a copy of your clip. Uh, you don't need this in editing yet, but you're going to need it um, later on. This is just organizing your clips. This isn't actually editing. And control Z is to undo everything that you did. So control Z goes back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. And now you can see that my clip is already together as I want it to be. So the first five seconds is just empty time and then this is where I actually do the trick and after I do the trick I leave another five seconds and the reason why I'm having you edit every single one and export each one is because you need every single clip to be exactly the same format and the exact same These clips to be shorter You're not going to use a whole four minute clip into one edit because then it's just going to take too long to actually edit it and everything it's just better to have everything organized and have everything smaller from the beginning so that way it's easier to just drag the clip wherever you need it and now that we're exporting so you press on export and now you're going to label the clip what it is when labeling this clip if you're going to different places label where and what trick you're going to be doing because those are the two important keys into this edit is where and what trick so you know what trick it is and where it is so you can match it up with other clips so I know that this trick is at 88 Skate Park and the clip of the trick that it is, the trick that's in this clip is back 180. So I just put back 180. And what you want to do is change the location of where your files are going to be saved. Right now, my file is going to be saved to desktop, but where I want to be where I want it to be saved to, I want it to be saved to Halloween 2. So you click on the file, select file, and now you can see that it's going to be saved to desktop Halloween 2. That's going to be the location. So you want the settings to be on best, and you want the resolution to be the same one as it was on your camera, because if you increase the resolution, then it's going to destroy the whole clip. So keep the resolution the same and the frames per second the same. So I told you guys to do 1080 by 60 frames, so that's exactly the same I'm going to be using here. I'm going to be and now you're ready to export. So export each clip. So export. That should only take about two to three minutes maximum is the first clip. So now what we're gonna do is you just finished 16. Now you're gonna drag 19 into the frame. Delete 16. If you delete it from the media, then it's going to delete it from the timeline. And what you're going to do is going to put 0019 or your next clip in. And you're going to do the same process. Just go to the last 20 seconds or 30 seconds of whatever clip you're using. So this is where I'm landing it. And now I'm going to drag it back a little right there. Split the clip. Play. So that's about two seconds from where I actually start rolling up. I do the tray flip and last two seconds I'm just going to cut off because that's empty space. So control B, delete the last one, export and label the trick. So this is 88 um, skate park tray flip. And you're going to export and do the same process over and over on every clip so that way you have each clip uh, saved into one file. And again, this is all to get yourself organized for when you're actually doing the full edit. So it's done. And I'm just gonna skip this process because this process is just repeating the same thing for all your clips so you can have everything organized. 
Okay, so now that you look in my file, now you can see all the clips being labeled out and knowing where each one is. So obviously you can see IS5, heel flip, 360 shove it, front shove it, all that. Then you got 88 on top. So now you know which one or which locations that your trick is being done at. Because what I like doing with my edits, I like keeping everything in one location because it keeps your audience focused on one spot. If you keep bouncing back between locations, your audience is going to lose focus right away because they have to pay attention where the next trick is being done. But if you give them that two seconds of realizing that it's the same spot, then they already know where to focus. It's easier for them to just focus on that one spot and knowing what the trick is and mostly focus on the trick, not where the location is, if that makes any sense. What you want to do now is reopen Film Aura like I did, or we'll take all your clips that you have. So I'm going to take all the 88 clips and put them into Film Aura right over here. And now I'm going to take all the IS5 clips that are already finished, not the ones that you already had on your camera, but the ones that were already finished, take those. And now just drag them over to Film Aura. And now you have all your clips. Now what you're going to do now is now you're going to save your project. This is the most important step. Because if you, for whatever reason, your computer crashes or something happens to your computer, you will always have your project backed up on your computer or on the program. So what I like to do is go to File, Save Project. And now you're going to label it. Well, first go to where you're going to be saving it. So Halloween 2. Now you're going to label it. So this is going to be Halloween edit, edit 2020. And that's what I'm going to be labeling at. And then you're going to save it. So let the project save. Now if you close it, or whatever reason, now you have your project saved in that file. So just you can open, reopen it. And the whole format is saved because you already set the format before you closed it. So this is how you're going to organize all your clips. Anytime you're doing edits, this is how you're going to organize your clips. Because if you, for whatever reason, need to make a full video for like five minutes, this is going to be saving, going to be helping you so much because you're saving each clip and you're not worried about having to look for that one specific clip by number. You have it labeled, you know where the location is at. And that's what all those filmers do when they're going out skateboarding or doing whatever, even if you're doing a movie, what the cameramen do is all they do is record. Then they have the editors go into each film and try and label each one and try to cut as many parts that they don't need. That's why they have like take one, take two, take three. They take each clip and they just take the one that they need and they edit it. They put them all together to make a scene. And each scene then becomes one. So like, let's say you have uh, a movie, right? And they're at one location. So they're at location A. They do the whole acting out. And once they finish the acting out, they move to a different location. And now that's scene B. So now they put all those scenes together to make a whole movie. And this takes a long time, but they only take the clips that they need. And the same thing with your editing for an edit. This is how you're gonna edit all your clips. You got all your clips into your project. And now this is the end of part two. Now you're going to be moving on to part three where this is actually going to be taking real editing and putting all your clips together based on how you want it. And I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of how to edit and putting a good clip together.